Howdy Moz fans, welcome to a very special edition of Whiteboard Friday, talking about keyword research today. Now keyword research, you know how important it is. It forms the basis of all successful SEO. People who are good at keyword research and having a good research strategy, that, that often makes the difference between winning and having an SEO campaign that just goes nowhere. I, I love keyword research because we all have an idea of what we think we want to rank for, right? But when you use keyword research, you can use data to find opportunities and surprises that you didn't even know existed. So I wanted to spell a, a myth about keyword research. A lot of people think it's, it's about finding the right tool and you, you enter the keyword into a tool, you get a list. That, that, technically that is keyword research and that's a fine starting point. But it's not so much about the tool. It's about a process. It's a, about a process of creating a strategy for your entire website and finding those winning keywords that you can rank for and gain traffic from that are relevant to your business. So it's more than just a tool, it's a process. There are entire guides and webinars about this, uh, but I think we can simplify it. And in the next few minutes, I wanna show you the basics of a winning keyword research process that I think you can start to master in just a few minutes and get the fundamentals. Uh, in fact, I did write a guide about this. We'll, we'll talk about it at the end of the video. It's completely available, but I wanna go over the basics so you can start to get a, an understanding of the process that will help you win with keyword research. So first of all, a concept that you're probably familiar with is the idea of seed keywords. We call them seeds because they help grow your keyword list uh, and expand it. Seed keywords are more important than people think, and we're, I'll tell you why in, in just a second. Um, so many tools will give you seed keywords, but I wanna, I wanna dismiss the idea of thinking in terms of tools for just a second. When researching seed keywords, I, I'd like, I propose that you think of it in terms of questions, questions that you wanna ask yourself. The first is simply, what do I want to rank for? Uh, so let's, in this hypothetical example, our client sells calligraphy pins. They like, Cyrus, I wanna rank for calligraphy pins. That's great. That will be your starting point, your, your first seed keyword. So a second question you can ask is, what do I already rank for? Well, let's say the client has an existing website. They, they sell some pins. Maybe they do well, maybe they don't. So we want to dig into the data of what, what is already sending them traffic. And we can do this with a lot of keyword research tools, Moz, Ahrefs, uh, SEMrush. I prefer Moz, uh, 500 million key, keywords. It's a, it's a great set, but you can use whatever you want. Uh, so you, you want to search by uh, keywords by site or keywords by URL, and we, we can enter our client site and see that, oh, they rank for pen starter kit. Uh, their rank is number one. It, it only receives 10 visits a month, so maybe that's not such a good key, seed keyword. But best calligraphy pen, they rank number eight, 500 visits a month. Calligraphy supplies, 14th, 750 keywords a month. Those are excellent seed keywords, seed keywords so we're gonna make note of those and use them a little later in the process. You can also get this data from Google Search Console, rank and rank and uh, volume. Uh, wherever you get it from, these are what you wanna search for. Great keywords that you already rank for, but maybe not number one with good search volume. Finally, let's say you don't have an existing website or you're starting a new project from scratch. You don't have a lot of existing data. You wanna ask, what do my competitors rank for? or the top ranking site. So I might Google calligraphy pins and see who ranks number one, pop it into uh, Keyword Explorer and see all their ranking keywords here and start to find the good seed keywords. Uh, so I can see that they rank for calligraphy kit. That sounds pretty relevant, 750 uh, visits a month. Pen starter, eh, not so much. I'd probably throw that one out. Learn calligraphy, that's a great seed keyword. I'm gonna make note of that, uh, 1,200 visits a month. You can get seed, seed keywords from literally any keyword tool. Uh, some of the, our favorites beyond Keyword Explorer, Google Trends, uh, Answer the Public has a great free option. Uh, people also ask, anywhere you wanna get your seed keywords, uh, that's where you form the basis of your list. So next, we're gonna start building our list. Uh, seed keywords move into list building. So this is where we want to use a robust keyword research tool, such as, such as Moz, Ahrefs, or whatever you want. Uh, and we start, we, we're, we're entering our seed keywords, calligraphy pins. We're going to get a list of keywords uh, sorted by relevance and volume. Now, there are many metrics 
in keyword research, such as uh, keyword difficulty, um, click-through rate, uh, importance, things like that. For right now, we only want to be concerned with two metrics, relevance and volume. Well, you can concern yourself with the other metrics a little later when we're sorting and filtering. Uh, but right now, we want to find more seed keywords. That's the key difference here in this process. We're not just finding related keywords, we're finding more seed keywords. We're reiterating. So calligraphy pen set, uh, highly relevant, five means highly relevant, volume of 100. All right, we're gonna mark that, that becomes a new seed. Calligraphy Amazon, okay, that's only rel that only has a three relevance score. Unless you're Amazon, that's probably not the most relevant keyword. We're gonna cross it off the list. Uh, calligraphy fonts, calligraphy pens price, Oh, that's great. Calligraphy ink, uh, great with high, with high volume. So what we have done now is we have collected more seeds. And we're going to throw those seeds back in and discover even more related keywords, more seeds, and we're going to start building out our list. That's the process. Not just get a list of related keywords, but you're finding more seeds. And when you find more seeds, continually do this, these become new pages of your site or new, new entire content section. So we could, have a, we could have a section on calligraphy ink, we could have a page on price. We're gonna group these in our spreadsheets uh, together and every time we find a new seed, it can become a new topic, uh, a new page, a new idea. The, the idea is you wanna find as many seeds as possible. So when we get these seeds, we're gonna reinsert them back, but we're also gonna do one final step that a lot of people forget or, or just don't realize, and that is the competitive analysis. Uh, because the keyword tool will, is gonna find a lot. Uh, Moz Keyword Explorer does a particularly excellent, excellent job of this. But one thing, I, if you're not using uh, Keyword Explorer, one thing I'd like to do is I'll take my, key, my seed keyword, calligraphy ink, and I'll put it into Google. And I'll see who's ranking in the top one, two, three, four, five positions. Uh, and I look for specifically for sites that specialize in this, like I might throw out Amazon or, or things like that, but Ink Warehouse, Shop Calligraphy Inks. I'll take this page and I'll put it in Keyword Explorer, Keywords by Site or URL, and I'll get all the other key keywords that this page or site ranks for uh, because they've undoubtedly tried a lot of content, they know what works, what doesn't work, and I'll find new seeds that way. So I can say that Ink Warehouse ranks for best calligraphy ink. That's, that's a good one. Calligraphy ink set, great new seed keyword. Uh, calligraphy ink bottle, uh, another great uh, seed keyword. So then we have new seeds, new pages, uh, new topics. We can take these and start the process again. And we do this over and over and over again until we have a complete site, a complete a uh, set of keywords for every page, every conceivable ranking position, and we can start to build a strategy out from that. Uh, after this, we can start to sort and filter by uh, keyword volume and difficulty and things like that, uh, but that's a process for another time. So I've documented this strategy and so much more in a brand new keyword research guide, the Master Guide to Keyword Research. Uh, we just released it, it's available free, it's, uh, it covers this topic in depth, and we try to make these concepts as easy as possible to help you win SEO. Uh, we're gonna link to it below, you can download it and uh, let me know what you think. Uh, so I hope you learned something today. If you like this video, please share it with anybody that uh, you can. It would be a great favor to me. Uh, okay, until next time, thanks everybody. Best of luck with your SEO.